With the amount of space available for garden shrinking, wall garden units are becoming much more popular in the home garden, and like the ones sitting here behind us, they're becoming much easier to install. The first decision you need to make is what wall you're going to use for your wall garden. Now you obviously need sunlight and when setting up your wall garden you prefer morning sunlight as opposed to the harsh afternoon light. Now the idea of installing a wall garden has traditionally seemed quite a difficult one but these days there's modular systems that make it much easier for the DIY project at home. installing the wall garden units is attaching the braces to whatever surface you're using. Now this surface is probably the most difficult you'll come across. It's a shipping container so it's got a slightly undulated surface um, and it's also very hard metal so we'll be using metal screws to attach these but the same theory applies, uh, applies across the board. Um, the first step is attaching your first panel making sure it's absolutely level and perpendicular so make sure you use the spirit level. between the boxes from one box to the next 25 centimeters is absolutely perfect leaving a little gap for the foliage to grow up and then grow over The beauty of the modular system is its simplicity. The back of each unit has two points that anchor onto the screws that you affix to your panels. choosing your plants, choose the varieties that don't need a lot of root depth, so things like leafy greens and herbs will be absolutely perfect. And while it does look a little bit unimpressive at first, give it one or two months and that foliage will really start to grow out and drape over and cover those boxes and create a really impressive wall garden. Mm -hmm.